We got a lot to cover. I know time is um, not on our side. So I'm going to shoot some questions at you that I think the audience would want to know. Okay. okay, you get to the point that uh, you are ready to sign an artist. Yep. What do these deals look like these days? You know, uh, artists come, the, the artists that you're signing, I know money is being pumped back into the game. That, that drought that, you know, the industry went through from maybe 05 to about 15 is kind of, you know, there's money back in the game now. For sure. You know, are you signing artists to single deals? Are you signing them to, you know, full album deals now? If so, what do those deals look like? Are they 360 deals? If they are 360 deals, do artists have any negotiating power whatsoever to be like, nah, I don't want to, I don't want to sign a 360 deal. What do the deals look like these days? Um, I think you're right. It is good to see the industry is making money again. You know, there's more revenue streams coming in with streaming and, 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 you know, some of the endorsement deals. Um, we're not definitely at Atlantic. We're not doing singles deals, right? If you okay, stop there for a second. Cause I want you to say that again. I didn't even realize that at Atlantic success VP of a and R you are not doing single deals. We don't do single deals. We may do a EP deal. You know, if let's say there's a kid that we, we believe in the song and we haven't quite figured out if, if this kid is a career artist, right? We're going to say, boom, let's do an EP deal, right? Mixtape with an option, something like that. That way it gives him the freedom where if it's not working out, boom, you know, you're free to go and continue your career and, you know, we're, we're free to release you. Right. Um, so there are some EP deals happening and then we are definitely still doing full on album deals, right? Um, two, three albums, every deal is going to be different. It's going to depend on where you are in your career. Um, you know, you definitely still want leverage coming in the game, just like anything. It, it is a business. So if you're scorching hot, you know, and you just need a partner that's going to help you bring it to market and, 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 and get you on top 10 on hot 100, you know, then your leverage is going to be that much better coming into the building. So, you, you know, you're probably going to get a higher advance and your attorney and the power of your negotiation skills will get you the type of deal that you want. Are we doing 360 deals? Yeah, I think 360 deals are becoming an industry standard for some years now because, again, especially a company like Atlantic, we're going to make sure that we're getting you in those Super Bowl commercials. You know, Corday, on his first project out, he got two Grammy nominations. He got a Super Bowl deal. He's got a Coke endorsement, you know, because we were able to bring those type of deals. He's got a Puma endorsement. So it's like, it's not just like, oh, we just want to sign you to 360 because we want to take all of these other forms of revenue. It's like, no, we're going to help you go and get that big check from this corporation. And we're going to help you go and get that, that huge tour. And, and, you know, so, so we're, we're, we're putting these opportunities in front of the artists um and and then yeah we like to participate on on a lot of these um a lot of these platforms so yeah we're doing 360s we're doing ep deals and we're doing album deals okay great you touched on something i want to go back to it for a second you said you're signing them for two and three albums um you know back in the days people were being signed for five to seven albums is the industry norm now two to three albums or is that just with artists who have leverage in power? I think again, every artist is going to be different. I can have seen different deals where some guys may have three albums, you know, requirement. A lot of guys majority will have a four or five album, uh, delivery requirement. Um, and then nowadays what you see is you see artists putting out mixtapes and you put out a mixtape and there's a certain threshold that that tape needs to stream. And, you know, you see guys like Future and Drake put out 
a collaborative project and it counts for both of their album requirement because it streams so much. Like there's so many different creative ways that deals are happening nowadays and artists and labels are getting creative with the delivery requirements. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, a standard deal is probably going to be four or five albums. Um, but again, based on your leverage, where you are, what you, you know, what you, what you're putting out, the, the, the frequency and, and how much you're putting out. Some guys are putting out one project per year. Some guys are putting out, you know, one mixtape per quarter and it's streaming like a real album. So obviously those guys will be out of their delivery requirement a lot sooner. So there's no real standard on that. I feel like, um, I feel like that's going to depend on the power of negotiation with you and your attorney. But, um, I would say on average right now, it's a two to five uh, album deal requirement these days. Got you. Let's yep. talk advance while mm -hmm. we're on the subject. Is yeah. there a standard in terms of the advance that the artists are getting? Um, and if so, what is the advance? And speak for, obviously, I would know this, but I'm speaking for somebody who's coming up, who's in middle America, who may mm -hmm. not have any way to get this information outside of watching or listening to this video on podcast form and right. hearing your words. You, you know, is there a, a, an average for an advance? What's that based on? Um, and, and what is the advance used for? Do they have to pump it back into the album or can they take it and buy their mom a house? <laughs> I hope, I mean, I never encourage artists to go buy moms that house with that first advance, right? That's never a good thing. Um, I understand getting stable. You know, now you can quit the day job and, and now you have a few, you know, your, your bank account looks nice. You can pay off some debt, pay some bills, but like artists have to understand that advance is not the win, right? People think, yo, I got the deal. I got that advance. Now my life changed. Advances don't change lives. I'll, I'll just say that. that. I know that's a big misconception. When I was coming up, it was all about getting that advance, getting that check, getting that bag from the label. And it's like, that's really just the start of the relationship. So you should use that advance to get yourself situated, get an apartment, get, get you know, if you can put down on a house because you have other... Revenue coming in, that's one thing, but don't go trick off your advance on a house. Um, because again, that advance does need to be paid back. It is a recoupable advance. And you know, you you gotta you should be using that money to do other things to further your career. And I tell people that all the time. Like, you know, get yourself situated, buy yourself a little in the crib studio setup so you can record demos at home. That's what majority of artists are doing. So when you get a situation like when COVID hits artists, what they couldn't do was get on the road, but what they were able to do, those that had a home setup, they was able to just record, record, record. And you can do that for, you know, 5,000 or less. You could get a nice little home setup and work and create. Um, so to answer your question, um, artists' advances these days vary. Um, again, it is going to depend on, I feel like, where you are when we're doing a deal and the power of you and your attorney's negotiation, right? It can be anywhere, you know, they're doing advances. I've seen deals as low as 50K for an EP, you know, and I've seen them as high as, 1.5, 2 million for a full on album deal. So every artist is going to be different. Everybody's going to have a different, a different leverage. Um, and again, those advances are recoupable. So, you know, it, you should look at it like an investment, like a loan and it does need to be paid back. So, you know, um, definitely get you an accountant soon as you start talking about advances, you need to get a business manager because you don't want to owe the IRS and you don't want to, you know, you don't want to, that's another tricky thing to get, to get caught up in 
advances and now you got show money coming in and you got all these other revenue streams coming in and you don't have a good business manager to help you with your finances and your accounting. Um, so I feel like just as important as your entertainment attorney is a good business manager to help you, you know, pay that out. And the other thing is nowadays with 360 deals, your business manager should also help you be able to account back to the label because as those other revenue streams start coming in, your partnership with the label needs to also be, you know, uh, taken care of and allocated. So super important to get a good business manager to help you with your finances. Got you. So just for my own clarity, the advance, it is for the artist's pocket. I understand you recommend that they invest in their career, get a setup, do the right thing with their money. Right. But the advance itself is separate from the recording budget, correct? Correct. Okay. I just want to yeah. make sure for anybody who's watching this and, you know, because that that's a big question that I'm always asked. You know, do I if you're saying you've seen it as low as fifty thousand dollars, am I supposed to create an album, pay producers, book studio time, and still live off that one advance? Well, that's different. See, you know, there are certain deals where you you know you might have just a distribution deal, and with this distribution, they may say you know, here's a hundred thousand all in. So with that hundred thousand in that situation, then yeah, that's, you supposed to live off of that. And then you're supposed to clear your records with that. Right. We're not doing too many of those deals at Atlantic records, Atlantic records. We have a whole admin team and you know, your advance is separate from your recording budget or your recording fund. Um, I'm just saying that, the way artists live these days, you should be smart. I recommend being smart about your events because, again, take, for instance, what happened this year. Artists are used to getting on the road and majority of their revenue comes from road life, you know, performances, shows, tours. But when, you know, when, when the pandemic hit, just imagine that if you had just signed a deal in – you know, let's say December of last year and March comes and everything shuts down and there's no shows, that advance is what you're living off of because, Correct. you know, you could have a hot record, but no shows. <laughs> so guys that have, have been on the road for the last few years, hopefully they've been stacking some money because they've made that show money. But to a new artist that just got an advance, you know, now that you, you got to supplement some of that income that you would be getting from shows, you might have to tap into your savings. And so that's why I recommend that advance, putting it somewhere for savings for a rainy day or just, you know, to invest in yourself. Like I believe in, you know, putting it into yourself. Like the label's going to do their part. We're going to do our part. But again, if you're at, you know, if, if, if you can't get shows, and you still want to put out product and you still want to do what you want to do, you know, part of that could be used from your advance money. So um, for clarity, it is two different things though. Your advance is your advance. You really do what you want. I just recommend being smart about that um, because anything could happen at any moment. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video truly appreciate you if you like anything you heard here today go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you know anybody that can benefit from this message feel free to share peace and love